Hey, AP Hug students, hope you're doing well. I um, wanted to give you a, a quick update on things and then to also explain 5.11 for just a few minutes before you dive a little bit more into uh, the, the exploration of the concepts. Um, some complications happened and the uh, funeral had to get moved from Tuesday to Thursday. So I will not be returning um, until Friday evening via uh, air travel. So I will see you Monday. It's not ideal. I appreciate all's patience and thoughts and everything. And um, if you think about what you should have been looking at with 5.10, um, really what you're looking at is the effects of these agricultural practices. And so you've looked at how does it affect the landscape? Okay. Um, a lot of key terms, a lot of things to think about. Um, vocab really is is kind of is what it is the saying goes but you also want to be able to apply that as best you can okay what you're going to look at excuse me with 5.11 is the challenges of what uh, human geographers call contemporary agriculture okay so you know we've talked a little bit actually quite a bit actually um, about the green revolution and how you know, that kind of changed with a greater emphasis on you know, pesticides and technology and a variety of different things and how it benefited some parts of the world, but not others. Okay. Um, what this is going to do is basically lead you through um, some, some things on by um, how does uh, agricultural innovation. Okay. And I was really looking forward to getting this with you a little bit more, but unfortunately, you know, the condition is what it is now. Okay. But, um, you know, how does biotechnology, you know, GMOs, you know, all these different things um, uh, affect uh, debates on what we do with these different, uh, these different more modern contemporary practices? Okay, so that's important to keep in mind. Okay, you're going to be doing a little bit of research on this. Um, you're not going to be creating a... Um, um, uh, an FRQ for this assignment, but you are going to be doing some some article reviews. Okay, so you're going to have to do a little bit of browsing there. Okay. Um, anyway, that's kind of a quick overview, but I don't want to waste too much of your time with that. Okay. So the directions I think should be pretty straightforward for what you want to do. You may work on this in groups if you want to. All right, but you should be able to. Okay. Uh, submit this by the end of the class on Thursday, okay? Because there's going to be a um, there's going to be a video for you to watch, and it's about almost an hour, and it's a really good video on the food production in the United States. And um, anyway, so you will want to definitely do that pretty much the whole class on Friday, or you might even get a chance to start it early, okay? Um, I'm going to post the, the link with the key terms. I haven't done that earlier in the week. I've been kind of uh, scatterbrained with that. But anyway, but on Monday, we are going to do kind of a finale, if you will, to um, five, to this, uh, this part of, uh, we're going to look at women in agriculture. We've talked a little bit about that thus far. We'll do an activity on that, kind of um, get into that a little bit more. I should be back to be able to do a little bit more explanation with you all on it. And then what we'll do the rest of the week is we're going to introduce our sixth unit, which is going to be on urban, um, basically urban planning, um, you know, urban land use, that kind of thing. Okay. Which I think is pretty, is pretty cool uh, to be honest. Um, anyway, so Thursday of next week, not this week, but next week will be your, your exam on unit five. Okay. So we'll do probably in class, I'm thinking on um, Tuesday or Wednesday, we'll do the, the progress check for unit five um, or review anything that you need. Uh, we'll do a quick introduction, uh, introduction to, to unit six that day. Um, the test on unit five, what Miss Way and I have decided to do, and I think it'll work pretty well, is we're going to, we're going to pack the test into one. What does that mean? Well, let me explain that really quick. So you will have about 20 to 25 multiple choice questions on unit five. Okay. And then you'll have one free response on unit five. Okay. So instead of doing one 
you know, test on one day and two FRQs on the next, we're going to basically do that and include it as one grade. Okay. The reason that we're planning to do that just really quick is um, we, our goal is to try to get through almost all of Unit 7, which is our last unit, by the end of this quarter. That way we can wrap it up week one of next quarter and have about two and a half weeks to review. Okay. The downside of the, the exam this this year for you all is that it's in the, the Tuesday of the first week, whereas last year it was, I think, the Thursday, if I'm not mistaken, of week two. Okay. Anyway, so that's the logic there. Okay. Follow directions on the uh, the guide sheet. This one has quite a bit of link to it, to be honest with you, which is why I think, you know, one, I'm keeping this video a little bit shorter, and two, it will take you some time to do. Okay. But like with anything, there is a little bit of information in the texts, but I do want you to branch out and go a step further on this. Okay, so make sure that you document where you're getting your resources from. You know, that's obviously good practice with research in general. Okay, as always, please feel free to let me know if you have any questions. Um, and I will see you later. And I hope that you are doing well.